What's good, homies? We about to be litty, no cap. You found the Madden plug. Now hit that like, hit that subscribe, and turn that naughty bell on. I'm about to put you on. Coin making methods, no money spent tips, budget beats on the 500 bands, 300 bands, 100 bands. Whatever you need, I got you. I got that daily Madden work. Now let's get it. You heard? Every day I'm hustling, 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 Hey, yo. I said, hey, yo. No shmoney spink gang, we in a building and you snow that. What is shaking, y'all? You already know what time it is, man. Holla at me. If you're new to the channel, hit that like, hit that subscribe, turn that naughty bell to fuck on, cause we's all the way to fuck lit, you dig? And you snow that. Alright, enough with the stupidity. Enough, cut it out, bro. Cut it out. Listen, I should have uploaded this video yesterday, but the ball, listen, I was feeling sick, so I got home from work, and KO, you already know, man. So, let's jump right into it, man. If you're new to the channel, for those of you guys that do not know, I break down every promo, every single one of them, and I put them on, oh, hey, yo, where the graphs at? I don't even know, where the, where the, where the, oh, hey, yo, all right. Listen, I'm, <laughs> let me pull up a graph real quick, man. Yo, boy, don't be like me, man. Fucking up the game. All right, so every promo, I show you guys a graph just like that, and I... Compare the best card to these budget bees, and then on Fridays, we cop some junks. We cop some fire. You dig what I'm saying? So here, this is the shopping list. This is what I'm looking at. This is what I'm looking for. You know what I mean? About to drop a bag, you dig? Nah, just fucking around. We ain't dropping no bags. We trying to get the best and cheapest players for the right price, man. We don't want to overpay for any motherfucking... Oh, your day. Now listen, man. One card I definitely got my eye on is this Jared Goff. Now, unfortunately, it's a little bit overpriced. Um, another one is this Joe Montana, but we're waiting for these cards to go down in price. So, in the meantime, I right, listen and excuse me if I sound a little cracked. I'm still a little sick. You know what I'm saying? I still got my coffee, got the Pepsi, got the holes, got the yeah, man. Anyway, so I might cop this Aaron Rodgers card. Um statistically slinger one has always been fire you know what i mean i haven't used michael vick yet but you know he's already op man but my my favorite card so far this year is going to be the blonde bomber right now i'm using um yo i was using a uh, homeboy mac jones that just came out the release is uh, the release is cool it's not bad man i gotta play more with it i'm gonna play some more with it today warren moon is still litty you can get him for dirt cheap but, truthfully, I'd go with the Blonde Bomber. Statistically, he's turned. Mac Jones is alright. The release was, uh, I'm pretty sure it was, like, traditional one, I want to say. Something like that. Let me let me go check real quick. Um, I got on my spreadsheet. Yeah, Mac Jones has a traditional three. The release ain't bad, man. It's not. But, truthfully, I'd prefer, um, traditional two. If you're going with traditional release, I'd say traditional two is probably where it's at. And that's going to be the Blonde Bomber. You know what I mean? Straight up. I still think he's the best QB out right now, slinger-wise. He doesn't have, like, the greatest abilities, but he will turn up for you and hit it on. He'll get he'll get you some dimes. You know what I mean? Statistically, he's fire, man. If I had to pick a slinger one, man, it's probably going to be... It'd probably be... Uh, my fault, y'all, man. Like I said, I'm still feeling sick, man. I'm going to drop a video for Slinger 1 here coming up soon, but Slinger 1 would probably be, um, statistically, it, it'd probably be Michael Vick. Man. All right, 
Anyways, let's jump into the next uh, joint right now. Running back. Now, listen, to me, running back, still the best running back in the game is going to be Bo Jackson to me, man. Statistically, he turned the fuck up. There's not even a question. Unless you have Arian Foster, which is almost the same statistics as Bo Jackson, Arian Foster is a steal. Do not forget that, man. All right? Fullback. Now, this now this one, listen, I'm going to keep it all the way 100 with y'all when it comes to fullback. Yes, I deal with statistics all week long. I break all these cards down so I know, I feel, I know who's hot, who's not. Follow the ball. All right, now fullback. When it comes to fullback, they did just drop. Shout out to the Saints, man. Homeboy right here, Adam Prentice. 337K. He's going to be the fastest fullback in the game at 87 speed. Um, the next one up is going to be Andrew Beck. Okay, now, but Andrew Beck is he's like an 86 overall. So you just get him for about 60 bands. Um, here's the thing, though. Okay. Andrew Beck has an 88 trucking. Adam Prentice has an 83 trucking. Both of these dudes come with running uh, running back apprentice. I think it's heat. But I would, for the right price, truthfully, trucking wise and uh, change of direction wise, I think Andrew Beck might 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 be the better fullback. That, and that's just where the mommy. Alright? Now, when it comes to, okay. Wide receiver, there's a lot, there's a lot of variety, okay, but we're going to go with speed in this case in scenario, we're waiting for some of these cars to go down in price, but if you're looking for speed, okay, I'm going to keep it all the way 100 with you, if you're looking for speed, your guy would probably be, um, who is it, oh, it's going to be, it's going to be Tyreek Hill, and he's going to be dirt cheap, man. Dirt, dirt cheese. He's about like 160 bands. You know what I mean? So where's he at? Right here. About 170. Problem is he's short. You know what I'm saying? If you like them shorts, do shout out to you. Pause. You know what I mean? Me personally, I'd rather go with Megatron. Megatron is still lit. 89 spec catch will take you to a whole nother level for 120. Any 65, 88 speed though. You know what I'm saying? 90 speed. Where, where these people are really going to right now, that direction as that threshold 90, Tyreek Hill. You know what I'm saying? Um, who else? I mean, let me let me see who else who else I got in mind just off the top of my head for the wide receiver position. Because there's 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 some decent, you know what I mean? Like, but um there is this OBJ card, dirt cheap. 87. He does have like an 89 spec catch. Um, problem is, OBJ is like 5'10", 5'11", something like that. So, if, like I said, if you're cool with the, with the shorties, if you're cool with the shorties, then, then you're good. Yeah, he's 5'11", my fault. He's 5'11", if we could find his card. It's going to be an 87 overall right there. Going for about 150, he's 5'11", though. 88 speed, 89 spec catch, really turn. You know what I mean? Probably going to cop that joint too right there. Um, I do like um, six foot Stefan Diggs, 88 speed. Probably one of the joints I'm gonna cop here soon. Slot Apprentice, you already know. Um, where's it? Where's he at? Where the homeboy? At? Where? Where the fuck? Bro, did I miss it? Oh, there he is, right there. Stefan Diggs. He was going for dirt cheap earlier this week. Depending on what time you get on. During the day, you might be able to snatch this up. Anyways, Stefan Diggs, you could probably get him for about 180k, and that's worth everything. Do not pay 300 like this dude trying to catch somebody slipping. Do not pay that. All right? Um, who else? Yeah, we got Megatron, OBJ. We you can always go Keenan Allen too, man. Keenan Allen's not bad. Problem with Keenan Allen is, when well, no, not Keenan. My fault. Mike Evans. 88 overall, Mike Evans. Problem is, he only has outside apprentice, but he is an 88 speed right there. 130k, not bad. You know what I'm saying? So I'd go Megatron, Mike Evans. I would go. Uh, who else is? Who else is an 88 speed? That and and that's gonna be without ODing on the price. Mike Evans, Calvin Johnson. Yeah, 
I would pick any one of those dudes. Cyric Hill being a 90 speed. Um, that's probably about it, man. Well, let's let's check out tight end. Now, when it comes to tight end, you got a couple options. Okay. Your first one is gonna be, and I like this card because it's a Saints card. But uh, the home ball, where's he at? Jawan Johnson. I gotta cop this card, bro. I definitely gotta cop this card. Jawan Johnson. Okay. Take a look at the stats real quick. 6'4", 87 speed. He's gonna be one of the, you know, probably top five uh, tight ends in the game. Uh, right now, I think they maxing out at 90 speed. Uh, Kyle Pitts is a 90 speed. Goddard, 88. Kells, 88. Kittle uh, and Vernon Davis at 88. So, yeah, he's definitely top six. 87 speed. Not a bad price. Um, but if, you, if you're looking for speed at 88, um, Vernon Davis is going to be your dude. And he's not going for crazy bread. You know what I mean? He's going for about 180 bands. 180, you could cop him. Slot apprentice, all of that. You know what I mean? What else we got? Let's go into. We're going to cornerback real quick. Now, cornerback, now listen. Very, very important. Very important position. Last week, I gave y'all some pick artists. Um, cornerbacks. Charles Woodson is still lit, bro. Do not sleep on him. But we're going with speed this time. 88 speed. Um, we're going to be going with. Woodson, I like 87 overall. Peters, he as well comes with um, pick artist. Fire card, and he's dirt cheap. And some good stats. Marcus Peters, 100K. Official. He's a steal, okay? Who else we got? We, uh, we probably got, uh, I think Trey Brown. I think Trey Brown is probably still that guy, man. Um, we still got prime time. Don't, don't, don't sleep on prime. Prime time still. Just don't be pressing. Because he's going to get cooked. Where's he at? Prime time still. Prime time still turn up. 124K. So you got Woodson. You got prime time. You got Peters. This 87 overall. Darrell Revis card. I like this card a lot. Yeah, see, 100 and 140, 88 speed. Problem is, he's a little short, but the jumping is crazy on the card. You know what I mean? So I'd cop that joint. One, some cards that we are still, oh, yeah, Trey Brown. 88 overall, Trey Brown is still there too. Um, you got to find them though, man. Every time, yeah, right here. 170 pick artists, you already know. Some of the cards that we are waiting to go down in price, of course we're waiting for Cromartie. You know, he, he glitches, fr, you know what I mean? He glitches, fr. Uh, Jacoby John, uh, Jacobs, uh, he is an 88 speed, but a very overpriced. Uh, uh, see, right here. Come on, Cromarty, come down in price, big dog. Stop playing. You know, we're also waiting for... <clears throat> Avante Maddox. And the Real Reavers. These guys are coming down in price, man. So, you know, hang in there, man. It's not it's not the end of the world, bro. Believe me. But let's go to free safety. Now, free safety. There's one card I, I got to get, man. I got to get. See, look. Sean Taylor, 120. But to me personally, um, these guys, listen, their, their man coverage sucks. I'm going to tell you straight up. But I, I do like Adam I don't Sean Taylor Kraus because it because these guys really like these guys are horrible at man. You understand what I'm saying? No matter what it is. But I do like if I had to say if I had to say one that I like the most at free safety, it is gonna be 87 overall Malik Hooker. Because he has the highest man coverage out of all the safeties. You dig what I'm saying, man? So I would go Malik Hooker. Um, but yeah, I'm doing free safety right now. Am I? Yeah, I'm, I'm, yo, I'm bugging right now. That's how you know I'm sick, man. That's how you know I'm tripping. All right. Nah, I'm, I'm cap. I'm cap right now. If, it, if we doing free safety, bro, you want to go with this whole Where the fuck? Bro, 
Troy? Where's Troy Palomalu? Am I bugging or what? I gotta be tripping. Yeah, I'm tripping. I'm, I'm dead ass tripping. All right, my fault, y'all. If we like, yeah, like I said, man. If you're going for speed, Sean Taylor, 88 speed. Kraus, 88 speed, but they man coverages, not the greatest. Okay? Kraus has a 66 man. Sean has a 55 man. But my, my man Malik Hooker, my man Malik Hooker has a 79 man coverage. So that's way better than them, but he is only at 87 speed. You dig what I'm saying? So I like Malik Hooker a lot. Um, if I had to pick between, if I wanted speed, I'd probably go more towards um, Paul Krause, who's not going for a lot of bread, man. He's he's going for about two about 220. So if you if you're looking for speed, and he has about a 93 zone, I would definitely pick up Krause for 250, man. Straight up. Now, on strong safety, my fault, I was tripping earlier today. Strong safety, Troy Palomalu, 186, bro. You know what I mean? Like, and, and the speed is OP, bro. You dig what I'm saying? 89 speed, Troy Palomalu jumping us through the roof. You already know. I mean, there's really no more to say. But I do like, um, who else? I do like this Isaiah Simmons card. Two hundred and seventy-four. He's six-four. Isaiah Simmons. I like this card a lot, man. It's hard to pick between the two. Troy Palomalo, Isaiah Simmons. Both five cards. Both dirt cheap, too, man. Not crazy, crazy prices. But if you do want to go a little bit cheaper, my man Hufanga turned the fr up, man. He turned the fr up. You dig? Homeboy is lit. You know what I'm saying? Six foot, 87 speed, um, 87 man, 79 zone. I like I like these cards, man. I like these cards a lot. Um, let's go into some linebackers. Yeah, let's go into the linebackers. Now, the tough part about linebackers is that their speed really hasn't gone up. I'm still going to say DeMarcus Ware is still the best one. Block shed wise. Uh, speed wise, height wise, I think he's still the most best card in the game at left outside linebacker. If you do not have, and notice how I said do not have, because I keep getting jerked on the MCS cards. If you don't have Biscuit, Dave Robinson, Judon is cool, man. I might call him just try him out, but he's still overpriced. Uh, Shaquille Leonard was all right, he's cool. I like the speed. But I think the Marcus Ware hits all the thresholds. 89 block set, 84 uh, power move, 90 finesse move. I think he's he's still lit, bro. You know what I'm saying? And he's the 86 speed, 88 being the fastest in left outside linebacker. I still think he's turned. All right, um, my fault, I'm tripping. At right outside linebacker, let's talk about it, man. Okay, right outside linebacker, truthfully, if you don't have Michael Parsons, the free joint, they, which, I, like I said, I got jerked on. They should have gave me my card, but they didn't because they scumbags. You know what I'm saying? They don't want no smoke. But if I think that LT hits all the thresholds other than Michael Parsons. Michael Parsons is an 87 speed. LT is an 85 speed. But there's another card that I like, and that's going to be Khalil Mack. 260K. I like this card, truthfully. So I would say that if you're going to spend 199 on uh, LT, which he should only be about 170, if you're going to spend this type of brand, man, throw a little bit more. Get, look, see Khalil Mack. Oh, I'm about to copy this job for 260. That's a steal. That's a steal right there, boss. That's a snipe, you dig? All right, you see what I'm saying? When you get steals like that, it's official, okay? If you don't get Khalil Mack, because he he's, he's going for about 300K. If you get if you can snipe him like that, grab him up. If not, LT is next up. He's official too, man. Don't sleep on the home ball, all right? Um, Michael Parsons, the free card. I'm past... Gonna be lit, man. Make sure you grind in that compass. 
All right, when it comes to middle linebacker, now listen to me, okay? When it comes to middle linebacker, your best bet, if you want to hit all the thresholds, you want to hit everything, block shed everything, man coverage zone, Terrell Bernard is your guy, okay? But he's like, I'm trying to get under 300. You already know I'm cheap, man. If not, Theo is still lit, and you can get him for 120. Theo is 86 speed. Bernard is 87 speed. Everybody else above that has an 89 speed, but they they, they overpriced, man. You're talking about a milli for Patrick Willis, um, about 500 and something K for Anthony Walker, 800 K for Hicks. Like, nah, man, we ain't doing none of that. You know what I'm saying? You got 700 K for Ray Lewis. Yo, y'all could keep all of that, bro. We don't want none of that. I'd rather get Bernard. If you could get him for under 300K, that's a steal, big dog. Straight up. I'm waiting for him to go down in price a little bit more. So we waiting on that one. You know what I mean? Anyways, let's go into... Did, did we go into left? No, we didn't go into left end yet. Bang. Let's go into left end. Now, for up. Left end. I'll be honest with you, man. This is just... Davion County, man, has my attention. I like the card. I might cop it just to, you know, give it a shot. But if you want a sure thing, you want a sure, like, official tissue type of joint, Javon Curse. He's still fucking lit, you day. But, just, listen... I'm going to do a video, a Budget Beats video here in a little bit where I compare him, Jadavion Clowney, and Michael Strahan all in the same video. Make sure you hit that subscribe so you can watch that video, man. All right? Now, right end. <laughs> when it comes to right end, our Frux. Bruce Smith is still my guy. I don't give a fuck what nobody says. Bruce Smith is still turned. 120 bands. You already know. But you can always go Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald is an 86. He's going to be a bit cheaper, but his stats still go hard. This car go hard, bro. Believe me, it do. All right, man. Um, and if you want a good kicker, I'm going to pick up a kicker right here for y'all. If you want a good kicker, man, truthfully, that 86 card is dope, man. That 86 Justin Tucker, don't sleep on it. But I would go with homeboy right here, man. Dang, 82, yo. Oh, you bugging. I'm not paying that type of bread for a kicker. You got me fucked up, bro. Y'all bugging. Yo, who's doing? Yo, man. Don't let me catch none of y'all outside, man. I promise you, shit gonna get real for y'all. 82, what? What? Yo, stop playing with me, man. Anyways, this is the dude, man. You should, you should pay about 50K for the home. You shouldn't pay 82. Do not pay 82 for this dude, man. Anyways, that's going to be it for the video, man. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, turn that naughty bell to fuck on. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, turn that naughty bell to fuck on. Yeah, I said that twice. Holla. <laughs>